I tell everybody all over the world this thing. The Bible is so clear to us in all these scriptures. I don't know how we missed it all these years. But he says that if God gave us Jesus, will he not with Jesus give us everything that pertains to life and godliness? Isn't that right? Now notice, it doesn't say if God gave us Jesus, then he will also give us these things. It doesn't say that. It says if he gave us Jesus, then will he not with Jesus give us everything? What does that mean? That means that whenever Jesus moved into you, he brought all his stuff with him. Amen? I was driving down the road one day, a highway there in Dallas, and God started asking me a question. Whenever God asks you a question, he's not looking for an answer. Right? He already knows the answer. He wants you to get the answer. Right? So I'm driving down the road, and he says, when did Jesus cease being the Christ? And I hear that, and I'm thinking, okay, this has got to be a trick question. So I want to be very careful about how I answer. And I've learned how to answer God when he asks a question like that. It's very simple. It was, uh, here's how I do it. He said, when did Jesus cease being the, the Christ? And my answer back then was this. I don't know. When did Jesus cease being the Christ? <laughs> right? I just throw it right back on him, right? Because I figure, even though I don't have an answer, that's a good response, right? And so whenever I threw it back on him, he said this to me. He said, apparently... It was when he moved into Christians. Because, what does Christ mean? The anointed one. He said, because they still think they have to call down the anointing whenever the anointing has moved into them. Now think about that. I never, I never wonder if I'm anointed. Right? I would never wonder that unless I wonder if I'm born again. If I wonder if Jesus lives in me, then I might wonder if I'm anointed. But if I know he lives in me, I know I'm anointed. Why? Because he didn't move, Jesus didn't move in. Jesus the Christ moved in. See, I, 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 the analogy I usually use is very simple. We have very rich men, people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, people like that, that were very rich. Well, Bill Gates was extremely rich. And I've heard stories about his house and stories about how technologically advanced it is. He walks into a room and the temperature automatically goes to the temperature he likes. He walks into a room, he speaks, things happen. I mean, it's just amazing, all the technology. Now picture, right where you live right now, picture your house. And you're sitting in your house and one day your phone rings and it's Bill Gates. And you're, you're thinking, how did he even get my number? Well, he's Bill Gates, he's got a computer, right? He can find your number, amen? Believe me, if he wanted, he'd get it. And so you answer the phone, and he says, yes, it's Bill Gates. And I just want you to know, you know, I'm going to be coming to, to your area because i got a project there that I'm going to be working on right down the street, and I really need a place to stay. Could I stay with you? Now, think about that. You, now, first off, your first reaction might be, oh, no, no, I've heard about your house. You're not going to come in my house because my house ain't nothing like your house, and I'm ashamed of my house, so no, you can't can't stay in my house. But once you get past that initial false humility, then you might think, this is, this is Bill Gates. So what, if you're smart, what you're going to say is, tell you what, Bill, come on in. Move in down here. Move into my house. Take my house. Make yourself at home. Yeah. <laughs> if this house isn't nice enough for you, you want to add a, a room to it, build on. <laughs> Build on a room. Matter of fact, you know, my furniture is pretty old. It ain't real comfortable. You'd probably want to refurnish the house. So, Bill, come on down. Bring your money. Bring your, bring your card with you. And, and just remodel, refurnish my house. Build on to it. Add to it. Bill, make yourself at home. All right? Just make your... Because if he makes himself at home, his, your house is going to become like his house. Isn't that right? Now, if you knew that, you're going to say, move in. Move, matter of fact, never leave. Just move in. Right? What do you think Jesus did? When he moved in, he brought all his stuff with him. There, listen, there is nothing Jesus has ac access to that you don't have access to that's not already in you. Because Colossians 1.27 tells us that in him you are complete. You are complete. 